are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, it's an NFC West battle between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. The kickoff for San Francisco. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this carries into the end zone. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. We step aside here in this first quarter. On first and ten, Love. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, A big play there. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Rams are going to take a first corner lead. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. up here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line he's back to throw here to start the drive and he fires one incomplete and he was looking for cooper cup there and that'll bring up second down incomplete i think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards on the play, first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, San Francisco. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. The 48 yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And nine. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That'll be caught by Cup. Garoppolo's that throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing we do know, 
He's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. And they'll lead the 39 here for a first. This is third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Aaron Donald. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Garoppolo on the screen. This is Coleman. And he gets it down to the 32. Five yards. Now it's third and five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards there and a Niner first. A gain of 13 yards. And the 49er first down. They'll run here with Coleman out of the gun. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Pretty effective run there. And now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the Rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Throwing on second and three. Garoppolo. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. thing up the kick is and he'll bang good. that one through that ties the game at seven Robbie gold to kick off for San Francisco each team's had it each team has scored seven seven here as the kicks away this taken in about four yards deep and this will not be brought out it's a touchback at their own 25 yard line Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. They got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. And you know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. And deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Love from the gun. He's got his man on the cross 
rushing route. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, Pendleton. great about watching him run, Charles. He doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. down, love to pass. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. At the 24-yard line. Jordan Love, ready on first down here. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. On second down, Pendleton. And this time he is in. Yes. A great play there with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Rams have taken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. And it wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and take it. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On second down now, it's Coleman. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 
Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. He's across Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 39. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And the 49er first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Screen play, McKinnon. And he's taken down inside the 30. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run on first down. Coleman. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice, steady gain. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. the 20 to the 19 yard line well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that rpo shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap doesn't it because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go and he did on that play right back to coleman here on first down and he's gonna take it in touchdown san francisco Tevin Coleman, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And this carries into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get 
the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. It's a gain of four. Makes it third and two. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Here's Love. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he's going to have a Rams first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. First and ten at the 40-yard line. First down, Pendleton. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. A gain of two. Brings up out of the shotgun. It's Love. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complain. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 42. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Get there and bring him down. D Ford in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Working out of the gun. No. He's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of 13 on the play. It's now third and love from the gun on third down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Eight yards there on a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. 49ers, 18-yard line. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Takes this about five yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending it a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. He would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> From the 22, Garoppolo. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. Samson Abuka has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Third down. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. 
Going up top for Cup. Oh, he can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. Three. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll take it on this side of midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. First and 10 at the Niners' 43-yard line. They'll run on first down. Pendleton, this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. From the gun, Love looking for his running back, and he's got it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. At the 24-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside kill. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. To pass, here's Jordan Love. They'll throw complete to Cam Akers. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense... You assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. They'll keep it on the ground. Pendleton. post because officials always tell you I don't want to throw the flag but you caused the play you did it I had to after the roughing penalty on the PAT they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback 25 yard line up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And that'll be in. 
incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Man, open, it's cup. He's got it. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 13 yards there and a Niner first. 49ers. To throw is Garoppolo. They'll get this one to cop complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. At the 36-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Eluding the pressure right. Going up top for cop. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Cooper Cup was his intended target. And it's third down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. here and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped and that'll set him back five so the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now third and long first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. First down. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Now on second and 13. Garoppolo. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Garoppolo looks to throw. A quick pass to come. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. San Francisco. Garoppolo now, first down throw. That'll be caught by Cup. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. With the score, Rams 24, 49ers 14. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. 
Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Coleman has it here right side. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. On first down now, run with McKinnon. Here down to the six-yard line. Eric Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second down, it's Coleman. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Brings up third down. The Niners on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. Here it's third and two. Oh, I can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back. Preferably a takeaway. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. After good for 16, and the drive will continue. The carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs, clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Love looking to throw it. Firing quickly out wide as well. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Jordan Love ready on first down here. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. First down, going to the air with Love. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because 
You just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Pendleton. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A great play there. His 25th touchdown. Tying him at Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Elliott on for the extra point. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He turns and gives to Coleman. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for the Rams. Touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Elliott now to add the extra point. man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead 38 49ers 17 so they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six and now the kick is away fields it in the middle of the end zone and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20 at their own 20 yard line The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. They begin the drive with Coleman. And he stops right at the 25 after a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. 
He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. The Rams going to go ahead and use the front. 